Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2020 video. Uh, today I'm doing a quick mail run. Now this is a, actually part of a longer scenario which I'll show you in a bit. But uh, this bit of this journey, we're just uh, about a mile and a half outside uh, Dallam Mail Terminal on the uh, West Coast Mainline Missing Link, which is available through alanthompsonsim.com. It is subscriber only, so you'll need to be a subscriber to get this. Uh, the route itself, that is. Um, the As I've been telling you through the videos, this is all about testing the hardware. That's why these videos are canals they are. So we're testing hardware as well as doing these videos for you. So some bits might work, some bits might not. We don't know yet. But let's just do a nice little mail run. I thought it was a chance to just sort of have a bit of a chill and also talk about the 325. Um, I think it's important that we uh, actually do talk about that. Let's see if I can get... No, it's going to have to be like that. Or do, is it a clickable one for the master key for this? Or does it just go down itself? Have I got PVC working? We'll take that off. Hawk. Yeah, okay, cool. Right. Let's take that off. Eight notch. Take it down to five. So this is what testing is all about. So you can see how it's not going through the correct steps. So I can now feed back to Dan and say, Dan, we need to look at the uh, 325. So we can flick through all the different ones and see what we find. And then that one works out well. Yeah, cool. Seven notches. So I'll select seven notches on the controller software. Right, that little bit out of the way. Let's get into Dallum. So we're running with uh, Bodget's uh, 325 reskins. Um, active DVD. Let's cancel you. Because this has got some weird DSD. But I do have the button working by the looks of it. Yeah, cool. So you may or may not have seen, uh, with the door boxes, with the door control boxes, uh, I have a guard's buzzer uh, in the middle there. Uh, I can actually swap that out to be the DSD. Uh, so I've got that set up on mine at the minute, which has actually got the um, DRA button on it. So this one has the DRA box, the DRA buttons. This is like the, the upgraded version. So I'm using the guard's call buzzer on this as the DSD. And of course, the AWS box as the AWS. So yes, Bodgett's uh, 325. So some of you might be aware that the old 319 sound pack that used to be available through Armstrong Powerhouse was um, compatible with the um, 325. So that's why the sounds sound different to those that have got a default one at the minute. And the joy of that was that you could you could make the 325 slightly more drivable. What we are hoping to do is find some sort of way of remaking the 325 drivable. Uh, that is a, an ongoing project. It'll be sort of a secondary project after the Azuma upgrade at some point. I've got to try and get it past the boys first. 25 going in here. I've also just noticed that this isn't taking power in any notch apart from notch four. I'm going to move my drink out of the way because I keep hitting that when I'm going for the DSD. So another thing that a lot of people think is that the mail doesn't travel by train anymore. It does. Oh, it does. There are lots of services still going on uh, during the day. What, what doesn't run anymore is the travelling post office. I've overshot that. Um, no, I haven't. The travelling post office no longer runs anymore. But the 325 still do. Doors that side. Doors in that sense. Shutters. Roller shutters on a 325. 
Um, let's actually get a... Stop doing that. Put you into neutral. So yeah, they still run, and they run quite often. So it is something that we do get in train in, in in real life, and we do see them quite often. So I would like to see them more used in train sim. But the problem with that is that the three two five that we have in train sim is god awful to drive if you haven't got the three one nine pack, uh, three one nine old sound pack, should I say? So I'm really hoping to get a little bit of a, a gauge, a little bit from you guys, whether it is something you would like to see happen. I would. I love driving mail trains. Um, so if you guys would like to see that as well, please leave a comment down below saying, yes, we want more mail trains. Um, and then I can take it to the guys and go, come on, look, everybody wants to see it. Please make my 325 better. <coughs> the 325s themselves are really interesting. A lot of people think they're networkers. They're not. Um, they are actually more akin to, well, they are a 319, basically. Um, just with a networker cab bolted on the front of them with buffers. So they're, they're an oddball. They're a really oddball, down to the, the, the British, uh, the um, Royal Mail font for the numbers. They're just something different. And I really like that. Really, really like that about uh, the 325s. And they do 100 mile an hour. You can whack them up and down the West Coast Main Line. There's bits of the East Coast Main Line you can use them with and all sorts. I'm just going to speed this up so we're not waiting about here for too long with me yakking. So they're definitely something I would like to see. Bodget himself has done a really good job with the reskin on it, and the textures look a lot better. So I'm hoping to get something cab-wise done with it as well. That would be really cool. And it uh, just gives us the opportunity to drive more mail runs. Because you've got freight, you've got passengers. And mail sort of sits in between the middle. This is generally a train that goes at passenger speed, but is freight in a way, isn't it? And I, I'll always like that. And I like night driving by myself. Um, I don't night drive for YouTube because it's pretty boring watching a very dark screen. Uh, but if I'm by myself, I'll quite often drive in the night time. And 90% of those runs will be a, a mail train of some sort, whether it's an 86 in res or a 47 in res livery, a 325, a 90. Lots of stuff I like driving that's, that's sort of mail stuff. There is other things that I'd like to see in Train Sim as well, don't get me wrong, but uh, the mail stuff is something I'd really like to see. And having Dallum on here and Shieldmore and all of those already at PRDC on the uh, West Coast Mainline 5.3. There's lots of things around. Why is YouTube flagging at me? No idea what that is. All over driver, time for the final runs of Wigan. Let me slow the speed down, otherwise we'll come out of here like a bat out of hell. Let's get into forward. So you see, even though we're seeing the notches, oh, it is reading those earlier notches now. Brilliant. This is why we test stuff. Test until we break it. Oh, Facebook's still open. Couldn't close that. Otherwise, that will just keep happening. never come out this way yet. I've never done like a three run at Dallum. Right, sorry, the scenario is um, NNW 06, 1 Mike 44, Wilson Royal Mail, Shieldmore Royal Mail. 
for those that are interested, it's available over at AlanTomsonSim.com, I think. Pretty sure. It is. It's part of the payware pack. It's Dom's payware pack. That's what it is. Midlands Northwestern. That's why I need to keep calling it. I should stop calling this the missing link. It's the Midlands Northwestern route. People shoot me. It's the missing link. Soon to be a completed missing link. Driving lovely merged runs from London to Glasgow via Birmingham or Edinburgh. And then when we've got the uh, Trent Valley rebuilt, our version of Trent Valley, then we'll be able to do that way as well. So the non-Birmingham way. So you can see how we started. The, the software's actually worked out what it needs to do as well, which is great. So I've got no qualms with this now. It's only the reverse of the master key you're looking at now. Oh, that 50 coming up anyway. should really have the heads on the power brake controllers are adaptable so I should really have the uh, electro star style handle engaged so come you can you can buy an extra ball so for like a 390 or you can go for a t-bar which is like a to zero or you get like the uh, 377 style networker style uh, handle That's going to make too lovely a screenshot, I think, for me to to not use coming around that bend like that. I like that one. The 3C5 for me is one of the, probably one of the most nostalgic trains in, in TS. Uh, when this came out and West Coast Mainline North, I spent countless hours running the scenarios that came with it and then doing free roams in the pitch black uh, all the way up and down the West Coast Mainline North with this. Um, even down to the there's Christmas runs and all sorts that came with it. And I loved it, really, really loved it. So it's nostalgic for me, really.
Oh, that was lucky. That was me thinking I was speeding. It's just that little kid in me that is still always excited if I get something. Like today, I got a new book through the door. Uh, 24 hours in the Euro Tunnel. And when the postman arrives with that, I'm excited. I don't, I don't care if the letter's for me or not. I like seeing posts coming through the door. And I always sort of think the mail trains, that's somebody's birthday presents, that's birthday cards, that's exciting news about something good, or it's a bill which tends to be what happens when you become an adult. <laughs> and it's bad news, it's horrible, it's horrific. I'm not one of these people that has the romance of a letter, that like handwritten letter, it doesn't really bother me. There's some money and a birthday card from your gran in Scotland or a, a birthday present from your uncle in Swindon. That's pretty cool when you're a kid, isn't it? I was always a bit excited to think that anything I got like that, any parcel I got, might have been on a train as well. It's one of those weird things as a kid, isn't it? But still, as an adult, I still quite like that idea. Does getting our line into Wigan. So yeah, if you would like to see uh, something happen with a 325, please support me in poking my developers in the head and go and get on this. So leave a comment down below and say, yes, I would like to see some more Royal Mail stuff. Springs Branch. TMD, is it? Or is it just like a maintenance point? Or is it got a weird name? I can never remember. MPDs were steam, weren't they? Motive power depots. And they have traction maintenance facilities. Nice, not getting any warning for that. That tab all, yeah, I thought it would have been. That's why. I'm running on a beta version of the route as well, so sometimes I get weird little inconsistencies. I also edited this quickly so I could start at this end, so it's understandable. Looks 
looks like I may have messed this up, and I'm going to go straight into the front of a 66. Yeah. I broke the scenario. I broke the scenario. Did I? Yes, I've broken the scenario. Anyway, you get the idea. You get the idea. So anyway, without the broken scenario, it's actually a really good scenario. I've done it on stream. Um, it's a very, very good scenario in, in Dom's pack. Well worth a buy. Uh, I've just broken it because I fiddled with it like I always do. So, if you want to see us work on the 325, please let us know in the comments below. Right then, guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me for that very nice, quite quick video, actually. It's been quite nice. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Head over to alanthompsim.com for all your up-to-date uh, uh, train sim needs. And, of course, this route as well and the scenario pack. Um... <clears throat> heading over to Twitch on a Sunday and Wednesday from 7pm and head over to the Facebook group for anything else you might need. Once again, guys, thanks ever so much for joining. Catch you next time.